Hello, how are you doing? I hope 2024 is going well for you so far and you've been reading some good things. I wanted the very first book that I read this year to be something really great and that I would really enjoy. So I picked a book that got a lot of good critical recognition last year and had a lot of fans and readers and it was an author that I've enjoyed reading in the past. So I read The Wren the Wren by Anne Enright and I wasn't let down. Something I adore so much about Enright's writing is that there's this down-to-earth and relatable quality to it which I find so wonderfully engaging and it's almost like this sleight of hand because I feel like it initially conceals how sophisticated her prose can be and how biting it can be. So the novel opens uh, with this, this passage of a character describing uh, the discomfort of inhabiting a body and consciousness and it just had me chuckling in recognition and this has happened before when I've read Anne Enright's books. I remember a scene from another book of hers uh, where a character wakes up in the middle of the night and is trying to get back to sleep uh, but has to go pee and uh, but doesn't want to get up and pee because then she'll be more awake and but then she's lying there stressing about having to pee and, and yeah so this that happened to me like a number of times and so that's the kind of like relatable experience that I feel like she gets so well uh, in her writing and uh, so this story opens um, with a, a young woman describing the experience experience of unexpectedly falling in love. Uh, her name is, is Nell and uh, this is anything but a saccharine tale of romance uh, because she finds as uh, her relationship um, evolves with this rural muscular young lad uh, that it is uh, both exciting and disturbing. Her experiences show how love affairs and long-term relationships often involve varying levels of power play and this is something that's been true for past generations of Nell's family as well. The narrative alternates between Nell's perspective and that of her no-nonsense mother Carmel who has mostly lived independently in her life and without any committed romances. And both these women live with the specter of Carmel's deceased father Phil McDara, a poet of moderate fame uh, who abandoned his family and his ill wife at one point to move to America to seek more personal and professional success. And his poems bookend these women's uh, accounts and, uh, and they're rep reproduced uh, in the novel. Um, so you can see them here. And they're, they're poems that are filled with this airy talk about love and nature. Uh, but the more we find out about him and the more the story progresses, the more hollow and posturing these poems feel. Phil gave Carmel the dubious honor of dedicating one of his poems to her, his poem, The Wren, The Wren, and it's a kind of gift, but it also cements his girl and his relationship to her as something that's removed from reality. Enright seems to be disentangling the illusion created by fame both in this novel and in her previous novel, Actress, by showing how public image and representation can be very far removed from personal experience. But really this issue of the spotlight being cast on a certain individual highlights and exaggerates issues that we all have concerning authenticity. Through these women's accounts, we see how lived experience can be precariously removed from perceptions and representations of it, especially when these come from a dominant man. In turn, this skewers their own sense of 
self-perception. And over the course of the story, Carmel and Nell gradually find greater clarity about themselves and their family. The drama disentangles the mythology which has been built around a masculine poet and patriarchal figure and I relish a good takedown of someone with an inflated sense of ego. One of Nell's statements that continues to haunt me is when she recalls that whenever she wanted a present, Carmel always gave her exactly what she asked for, but what she really hoped for was a surprise. And I think this is a small example of how this novel shows that our relationships to each other don't thrive when we only play out our expected roles as a daughter or a son or a mother or a father. But what we need to do is see the person for who they really are, a unique individual that is constantly changing and trying to figure their life out. So I thought this novel was great and it confirmed my sense that Anne Enright is just an excellent writer. I would love to hear um, if you have read this novel as well and, and what you thought about it or if you're interested in reading it now and I'd also love to hear what is the first book that you have read this year and how did you find it. Uh, please let me know about that in the, the comments below but I, I hope you're doing well and reading good things and I will We'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.